uh, going here, greeting to the name of the Most High, and uh, uh, if you want to hear that in its entirety, it's over on SoundCloud if you search it out into the Shadowland. Uh, it's a little story about what happens after death and in this particular case. And it has a bizarre tie-in with Mars, and then maybe not Mars of the Mind or Mars. There's a Mars thing going on. Uh, at least I've had some Mars. I don't even know what it is. So it's just something that's there, you know, but it gets mentioned in various creative uh, aspects. Uh you know, I looked at the firmament today and it was just like, oh, wow. Lord, your handiwork and you're amazing. And I love it when there's no moon because then I can see all the stars. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's just so magnificent, you know. Um, I, you know, people, you know, noticeably, I I have a rhythm to this show, you know, where I where it needs to happen. And today, now there's part of the show that's basically to repulse people. And, uh, you know, that's, I've been keeping, I've been very good at that for the last 17 years. And then there's another part that is um, to bring in some of the uh, knowledge that is hard to put into words. So I think first we're going to start off with... Um, the implication, prophetic and otherwise, and karmic implications of killing babies. Um, many years ago, we called it, we told you that it was, these are sacrifices to Satan. That's the reason that they're pushing for later and later term, because the closer to term it is, the more of a of a of an efficacious sacrifice it is, and they they might think they're sacrificing to their gods, gods and general entities conjuring, you know it can take a multitudinous, uh, you know purposes and 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 deities and entities and so forth that they think uh, they're appeasing, but uh, the one thing that is for sure, uh, they are addicted to it and their demonic god is pushing them to 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 actually have an out and out baby sacrifice outside the womb <clears throat> um you know with full consent of the United States of America to make America's hand bloody implication in killing of innocence which is satanism or communism Communism or Satanism, uh, they're both uh, analogous and they are one and the same. Now, I want to preface all this by saying again, and I don't want to repeat myself, so that's why you don't see me, you see me at very, very odd times. You cannot, and I just repeat this again for anyone listening that can hear, you, and this is a prophetic in a sense, this is a prophetic marker, you cannot allow these people to go on. And uh, otherwise, you will destroy your country, your life, your children, your grandchildren, and all things. You must find some way to destroy these people. Whether it be discrediting lawsuits, However, to politically, whatever. Uh, and if necessary, obviously war. There is no way to carry on as we are right now. Uh, with everything raw and exposed, it's a <clears throat> very good time to deal with the issue that's been here for a long time. And some of the chief... People involved the entire Democrat Party. Obviously, the leaders of that Democrat Party are seething, bloodthirsty uh, monsters that many of whom are from crime families and should not be allowed to continue. They, there must be an intervention. 
I don't care what the press says. If the press promotes it, then they should be intervened on and they should be removed from their position as press. Uh, <clears throat> this is what you do if you want to save the United States or any country, if you want to save it. The other thing is the destruction of innocence through the sexualization of children um, to be preyed upon in a predatory manner by adults to 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 train the children to service the adults is really what it is uh, in exchange for providing a path to uh, emancipation and uh, success in whatever worldly endeavor there is. This uh, must be stopped immediately. I just was seeing some pictures someone posted of the Pope kissing the genitals of a boy, of a baby boy. Yeah. Is that for real or is that photoshopped? Statue, statue of a baby of Jesus. No, I mean, it was an actual baby I saw. Really? Could have been photoshopped maybe, but I mean, you have statues also of, of boys, young young boys performing fellatio on priests. This cannot be allowed. Those have to come down, and this cannot be allowed to stand. These people, uh, you know what the justice is like in prison, right? If there's a pedophile that goes to, to prison, they are they are killed. They do not last if they're put in the general population more than about five minutes, not even that. And the reason for that is because that's the basic sense of justice that comes from humanity, because prisoners are after all, human. And it may be a more base way of, of achieving it, but it is justice, <clears throat> nonetheless, because the, 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 the uh, harm to the children is irrevocable. And, you know, children will, you know, if they are a conscious child, they will, it may take all their lives to heal, and, and I can assure you that uh, some, some people don't heal. Ever, in other words, they have uh, social phobias, social anxiety disorder uh, that never goes away. That never goes away. I mean, you know, you can take all the CBD oil and PSD, DSD, whatever uh, treatments you want, and it, it will never ever be able to undo the damage of of abuse. And sexualization of children is abuse. Furthermore, any and all. Uh, you know, education that has to do with teaching children 15 genders only has to do with one thing. That is the sexualization of children for use by adults. There is no other purpose, okay? There is, they could care less about the children, the teachers. They don't care. They're abusing them. They must be intervened on and stopped immediately. All of this put together shows a country that is destroyed. Post Roman Empire. You know, trying to say, make America great again. And there's no greatness. If something like this exists, there is no greatness possible. And it won't be possible unless you can adjudicate these people, not pass laws to make, give them a pass but to do the thing, the human thing to do, the natural thing to do, which is to bring truth, justice, common sense to the situation immediately. Because if you don't, I can guarantee you a few things. You know, I can guarantee you may, you may just be um, killed yourself in a, in a war, uh, whatever. If they get their way, they'll, they'll, they'll take everything you have and they'll, String you up just for existing. They'll punish you. They'll cut your throat. They'll kill you just for breathing and still think that you owe them, even in your dying breath. Do you understand who your enemy is? And do you understand what they want from you? They want you dead. Do <clears throat> you understand that you're not giving consent? And the more powerful they get, the more they turn the guns on you. You could go to a, a, an island way in the middle of nowhere, and if they got whiff of the idea that you were there, you, intact, human, that hunts you down, 
to kill you. Don't you understand? They are not they are not human anymore. Whatever it was that made them human, they've crossed the point of no return. There is no returning. There is no rehabilitation for these people. Whether you see them on television or whether you see them in front of a political rally, wherever you see them, know that your days are numbered because of them. And that every time there's another one of them that crosses that line, there's another one that's an enemy. You know, the, the idea is, the, the, the whole idea is to, is to destroy America, and if you get enough people like that, it will be de facto destroyed. I don't understand. Uh, I've had no way of doing a show lately because... I have no way of processing the horrors that I see, so I've I've had to turn away from the news because I I absolutely uh, <clears throat> I mean I'm the news is destroying me because I can't understand why people don't do something. I can't uh, so I have I've done something here today. I've explained to you that you will have no country, you'll have no life, you'll have nothing if this is allowed to continue. That's right. Can you you get your mind around that? You see how we're all connected, you see. And um, if we allow these bad actors to, and these people that have become quite the, the subhumans, if they're allowed to rule and dominate, they're barbaric, you understand. They would, they would uh, destroy us all, you know, including themselves, because they are no longer um, intact. It's just like in The Omen, you know, the girl that jumped out the window, you know, the maid of Damien The Omen, a famous movie from the... I guess the seventies star Gregory Peck, and and uh, they needed a sacrifice, or the little boy who's Satan incarnate needed a sacrifice. The next thing you know, she's at the window with a noose around her neck, and she goes, "All for you, Damien." You see, they have no regard for their own lives. You understand? Once, and yes, the people involved in this are structural Satanists. Out and out, full full blown, coven attending, spell casting witches. Where do you think all this comes from? All that comes from one one source. Not two or three or four. There's only one, only one, only one, only one, only one, only one. one and only one. All their eyes are the same. People say, well, I know that adrenochrome stare. Well, yes, adrenochrome. Uh, you know, they're trying to make that go mainstream and have, uh, for 15 grand, you can get a, uh, a pint of baby blood and uh, infuse it, and, you know, so transfuse it. Uh, or child's blood or whatever, up to a certain age. And the people think that renews them. Sure. Adrenochrome being the uh, adrenaline in the blood that uh, is a exotic, is taken as an exotic drug, uh, obviously from children that are being killed. Where do you think the millions of children that are missing every year, where do you think they go? Right, they never return home because they're murdered. Anyway, uh, I think I've summed it up. That That's pretty much all I wanted to say is that, you know, the prophetic marker on this is I always like to talk about prophetic markers and uh, the one on this one is is basically if it's allowed to continue, you have no... There really isn't any hope for the future at all. Zero. 
the zip and not a just brace for disaster. And that's just really too bad. But if every person would at least do a podcast or do something, a video, anything, about the outrage, or or replay others' videos, <clears throat> replay others' podcasts, you know, share podcasts, share videos, replay videos about how uh, what it looks like when you take a baby out into the into the air, and then you and then, you know you 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 uh, you murder it, you cut its spine, you do something to a fully functioning child. And how about the glee that we've seen and we've heard about these people do dan- ritual dances and things when they do these in, 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 I guess, clinics. You know, that they get off on it. And what does it mean that all the elites are, you know, are addicted to the adrenochrome, to, to children's blood? And that the, the Pope is the chief pedophile in the world. How can these Catholic priests <clears throat> underneath the Pope? The, I have a right to speak about the Pope because I belong to Jesus. How does someone like this, pushing the pedophilia, pushing the abuse, pushing the communism, pushing the... the, the, uh, the uh, you know, every evil thing imaginable. How does that get to be the head of the church? And where's the outrage among the people? Why are millions of people unable to remove one man? My God, that's just pathetic, Catholics. That's pathetic. You know he's obviously evil. Obviously of Satan. So my frustration and my anger has been so great that I have been unable to speak, unable to process news. I have been unable to look at the news. I have been unable to understand how there could be a political debate about killing babies. What, What the hell happened here? And how come one political party, the only thing they think about all day long is killing babies and a woman's right to kill her child and uh, bringing in communism, you know, via socialism. And that's all they can think about. I suppose raising the kids that do make it, I guess raising them as uh, 15 genders and they can just choose their own name and gender when they uh, come of age at three years old. That person should not be allowed to have a child, but because CPS and all that is so corrupt that they promote every evil thing, it continues. Now, Trump can't drain this swamp. In two years, you see what's been drained and what remains. I'm afraid they have the majority. And it's a very, very sad thing to to, to uh, watch the destruction of your country via perversion and degradation, witchcraft, and Satanism. But I always knew, you know, when I was young, I had no, you know, they would just simply lock me up or they wouldn't allow me to talk or find anyone to talk to. But I knew if I waited long enough, and I certainly have, that I would have my answer as to what what the heck was going on back there Why were they all ganging up on people and, you know, kids killing kids? You know, for the beast. 
the hive mind and the psychic links, the gang's talking. I absolutely waited and I found out the truth about the world. A, a truth I found prominently in the Bible, by the way. The man has been allowed to do whatever the hell he wants. And he has chosen the way of perversion, degradation, and death in mass, codified it, made it society, and to excel in society, one must live a double life, one of perversion, degradation, disgust, and inhuman, and the other, some sort of charitable guy that cares about people. Sounds like Gavin Newsom, a criminal. So I don't know, I kind of like leave it in your hands, America. I don't know what you're going to do. Most other places and empires and civilizations throughout time, they've all fallen because they couldn't, you know, when they got to the point we're at, they basically uh, fell. They collapsed. And that's why I think you see when Trump is in the midst of um, trying to make America great and doing this great things for the economy and trade and various, you know, things, more activity than any other president and not only in my lifetime, but that I've ever read about. And yet is shot upon daily, hourly, every 15 minutes, every second, because that one that wants to stand up for righteousness gets torn down immediately. And this is what I noticed happens in the churches. When there's someone in the church that stands up for righteousness, they tear them down. In fact, they'll even put a restraining order on you if you don't conform. Oh, absolutely. Because they don't want you commingling with the others. You might have the Holy Spirit. You might have a word of prophecy. You might have a healing for someone. You might have something that is of God, which the church cannot tolerate. And I've just answered the whole thing about the Pope as well, and all Catholics as well, and all evangelicals as well, all of them who are part of that system of state-run religion and who have conformed to that are uh, neutralized, let's put it that way. There's a state-run church in China you can go to without any persecution whatsoever. Okay, point made and, and uh, point delivered, case closed, right? So what does God do? So God brings up evil in society so that you can see all of this. You know, and God answered my question from when I was 18. I wondered... I didn't understand. I just had to wait for an answer. And now I understand. What I did not understand as a boy, I now understand. I sort of went in and out of denial in my adult years. You know, not not wanting to see it, you know. Sometimes when the, you know, when the harassment would come, I, I'd, I'd sort of act like it didn't happen, you know, like an abuse victim. I... <laughs> <laughs> and I went through a lot of years like that, pretending it's did I didn't hear that. That you know, that goes you right over and I'm gonna stick with the idea that it's a, a normal world. People don't harass you for your for your soul position. That is S O U L. Your soul position is what garners the harassment, understand? That if you're a hive, you've lost your soul and so there's no more harassment. You become the harasser, you see. When all I've really... And, and, oh, no, and what kind of a world? What kind of a world is it where if you ask questions as I did when I was a teenager, they want to uh, get rid of you, either kill you, lock you up, neutralize you, shut you up, Blow your credibility, have you so you could never speak again. 
what is it by at, if I, you ask a question, why is it in the classroom they want um, they want to turn it into some kind of orgy, and then if you if you are dismayed about that, they they send you home with a, you know having to get a letter from your parents to get back in in some private schools. Yeah, back then, oh yeah, that was going on. Sure, today people think, oh, that's nothing, you know, but yeah. Yeah, they want to, uh, the perverts running the school, that's running a classroom, would want to turn it into an orgy. There's just a thin veil. Oh, not an orgy for pleasure. No, for harvesting. Uh, there is no, you know, there, there's, it's, uh, <laughs> and of course for vetting as well, to vet, you know, the pure hearts that don't understand what's going on. They they can single them out and then put the uh, hive, or rather the, the body snatchers, they can put them on the innocent ones, hunt them down and harass them until they commit suicide, and then they cheer, yay! What kind of a world is that? Where a true child of God is hunted, threatened, and killed. Where the fake child of God goes free to, you know, be welcomed in the churches and preaching their sermons and doing their fake tongues and having their fake words of of knowledge and healing and putting on a good show. Now, the one thing I do know, ray of hope here, is there's a lot of good people in this country, America. And uh, more and more every day waking up and understanding. And then, of course, the next thing you know, once the truth hits you between the eyes, the next thing you realize is that what is truth but Jesus Christ, God? Mm-hmm. And then you realize you have to be on the path of God. You know, that's just there's no other way. Only God can lift us up when we're really hurting, you know what I mean, to, to carry us over that line. It's, you know, the battle is his, and we must give God the battle, you know. And if the battle is his, and we give God the battle, then we're not so shy about saying the truth, right? You're going to say it more often. Because that's the only way you're going to, you know, you're going to put these people on notice. Otherwise, they're just going to take over and run everything into the ground. As I said, they don't care about killing themselves either. As long as they can take you down with them, they're they're fine with that. They're no longer human the way you thought. You know what I mean? They're not at, at all human. The thing that makes us human is compassion, you know, love for others. You know, they've they've gone the way of the devil. They've gone the way of darkness. And, you know, after a certain period of time, there's a line that gets crossed. And when that line is crossed, the soul is no longer there. That's the end of it. Nobody, nobody with a soul intact can kill a baby, you know, after, you know, give birth to a baby and kill it. It's it's not a natural... It shows that whatever made you human, that, that line has been crossed. Gone. It's gone. So your soul... When you can do something like that, then we say your soul is gone. That which makes you human, that what makes you a, a spiritual being, that is gone. You know, your intellect, that which makes you you, is no longer there. It's there as a a kind of a cursory memory that you kind of look like your old self, but basically, of course, you're not. There's nobody home. The famous zombie song, you know, she's not there. All right, she's not there. He's not there. She's not there. They just wait instructions what to do. They have no mind of their own. We waste so much time on these people as well. They should just be talked to, not listened to. Told what to do, not not taking advice from. Laughed at, mocked in the public place. Not uh, taken seriously and certainly not debated. 
What debate is there about killing a baby? Come on. There can't be any debate about that. There can be no debate about killing a human being and trying to justify that. But I see what they're trying to do. It's trying to get the Adolf Hitler thing of the, you know, the New World Order, which was a Hitlerian concept, and uh, the idea of a final solution, which would be to kill uh, the defective ones, right, eugenics, and to boost the new hybrids to be the super race, the superhuman that improves on God's mistake. Which, of course, proves they've already crossed the line you can write them off. The problem, as I see it, is that people don't tend to see the others for what they are. And once they get, you know, their nose in the tent, as a camel's nose in the tent, once they infiltrate, you see, you're dead. And it's the, that lack of discernment is just so prevalent in our society. You 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 see a, a baby killing monster, like a psychopath, a sociopath. You absolutely right there must discern that, not let them in. Oh, maybe they'll change. They're not going to change. They're not going to change. Yes, I know. We've all heard of that one person that, that, that did change, but in general, the, the rule is they're not going to change. There are exceptions to the rule, of course. This is humanity. This is nature. In nature, there's exceptions. But in general, they don't change. Understand? They just, they made their bed, they sleep in it, they die. You know, yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll instruct you. You're not to listen to those. You don't take instruction from those. If they're doing something like enforcing the law, you follow the law, not because of them, but because of God. Because it's the right thing to do, even if you're under tyranny at the time. To the best of your ability, I'll put it that way, to, not to the point where you reject Christ. Well, if they could, you know, I'm sure they will push it all the way. You know, you know who gets a lot of the blame here? Christians, uh, duped by the 501c3 world system of Satan, thinking they're serving God when they're serving the devil, uh, being turned bass backwards, and worshiping conformity to the world rather than conformity to Christ, and even policing themselves to make sure there are no, quote, rebels among them so the church can be left alone and not persecuted and be able to make gads of money and publish books and have movies and put on pageants and have universities and create billionaires and <laughs> gold-lined, you know, gold-gilded planes and You know, it's just almost uh, impossible for me to comment because I've, it's so overwhelming that I've I've just been, uh, you know, these podcasts take quite a bit of energy, you know, and, and energy away from the normal daily activities. The, the, it's not so much the, the out, the others, the output, but there's the blowback. Apparently, you know, these podcasts, even though I'm shadow banned and everything else, on uh, Facebook and Twitter and uh, Google and uh, even with a small amount of people that are able to tune in once in a while, um, it seems there's a punishment. And the punishment has been very severe. And I didn't do it. You know what I mean? This all came out in the open. Now, I had waited since I was a boy to have my answer as to what society was, what the world is, what this is all about. And I, I, I waited and I had to, you know, uh, avoid the slings and the arrows and, 
you know, and there was persecutions and handling and controlling and and all this, you know, sturm and drang and whatnot. And I had to uh, bide my time somehow and then come to consciousness about the truth. And what this is. Because I would say to myself when I was young, I'd say, oh, there's no way. It's, maybe there's a certain percentage of people, but it's not like the whole thing. Well, it is like the whole thing. And, you know, um, the exception, the exceptions are the ones who remain pure hearts. That's why Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart, right? The pure in heart are conformed to God, for they shall see God. Indeed, of course, they're connected to God. They're the pure hearts. And, you know, they, they wouldn't, you know, like like so many pure hearts, they're not going to believe the world is a place where there's, you know, 80, 90, 90 99% evil and 1% good. They would never believe that. They'd think, ah, it's come see, come saw, you know, that's a pure heart. They, 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 they're so pure at heart, they don't even believe it could be that bad, right? You know what I mean? The, the, oh, God bless them, of course. But, I mean, they're so pure at heart, they can't see it even. And, of course, it's out of the question of joining them. They would never do that. It's not in them. You know, they were made different. Uh, well, yes, uh, <clears throat> they, they get uh, put on a list and harassed. That happens uh, pretty much uh, at some point in someone's life. That that happens, and then they wonder why they were born. They wonder why God would have them born if only to throw rocks at them and kill them. Why, what's, what's the point in that? You know, and have the other people thrive and live and... And, uh, you know, the, the psychopaths and the, the soulless ones dominate everything and take over everything like a, like a swarm of locusts to eat everything to the root and beyond. And why, why would God allow the, the, them to be so overrun with, you know, there's, with no hope, no light, no nothing? Why, why would that, how could that possibly be? If there is a sovereign God, would never allow that. So I know a lot of you struggle with that question. <laughs> and it's very familiar in my struggle as well. I often ask, why would, why would God allow? You know, even with people that are, you know, already bedraggled with, you know, and, and put down upon and, and, you know, in poverty and, you know, and, and just barely able to breathe. Why pick on them again? I mean, it's, they've already got the message. Their teeth are already kicked in. Why continue the pummeling? And of course, the answer is, is so that the the parasites can go on with their bow ties and their three piece suits and their office decorum and their you know their uh, limousines and and the good life for empty headed zombies. Well, it is one of the more curious things about God. I can only tell you this, folks. His ways are above our ways. His thoughts are above our thoughts. We cannot comprehend the ways of God. It looks one way to us, but it's not, you know, ultimately that way. It's, 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 it looks that way, but it's not ultimately that way. However... Everything I said about abortion of it was well, not abortion, it's murder now. The murdering of children. This is this is, you know, for the society to appease the devil, i.e. the obelisk, right? Satan's wanker. Satan's is a wanker, but his his big phallus in Washington. Probably he's not that well endowed. But the big phallus, the Washington Monument. The reflecting pool, that which contacts and conjures the gods. The Oval Office, all in alignment. The vagina, the sex, the conjuring, 
the witchcraft. All right, that's not even a half of it in Washington. That's just three items I mentioned. You can never make America great (laughs) with a Satan's penis, the number one middle finger to God, right? As your monument that you people worship as America. And so you say, please bless us, God. We put this big Satan's phallus right here in your face and now we're praying for you to bless us. What? Why don't you remove that? Remove the baby killing. Remove the 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 trafficking of of, of children for murder and for blood. Remove the elites as cannibals. Remove the 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 uh, you know the the corruption and the rule of law, the two tiered system where, if you're on Satan's side, basically you get to do whatever the hell you want to do, and if you're not, then you just get persecuted with a whole with the whole power of the government to the point of bankruptcy, ill health, who knows, you're just absolute destruction, i.e., who is Roger Stone? Oh, you may not like Roger Stone. He's kind of a character. You may not like him. I like characters, personally. And, uh, you know, but, but, I mean, the fact this man has had to stand up against the full force of the American government that is doing nothing but some kind of publicity stunt in, and taking glee in ruining a, a man's life who, who meant any, no one any harm. He's played by the rules. They say, well, he was a dirty trickster. Well, you can say whatever you want, but he played within the rules. He played within the lines. He, he did not break the law. He is innocent as right now, guaranteed. That doesn't mean they're not going to be able to, to hang him. This is all simply a pre-run to remove Trump, which they they intend to do ASAP. Of course, they're running into problems because they didn't think, uh, I think Trump would uh, hang in there as he has. People have become frustrated because they want him to make a move, you know. And did you know that January was the uh, human trafficking, sex trafficking, Human the the uh, and, and and slavery awareness month. Did you know that? Yeah, that's the first month of the year, folks. That means on Trump's agenda, the number one problem in the world today is human trafficking. That includes late term abortion because you know what late term abortion is. Not just baby killing, but it's organ trafficking. Break a baby up into certain parts so you can see how much each part is worth. It's A baby is worth thousands of dollars. You know, and, and you know, uh, at, at market, they know exactly how to excise the organs and keep things intact, keep the baby intact get long enough so that they can harvest the organs, send them out to wherever there is a demand. Uh, this is a huge business. And it's also under the realm of human trafficking. In other words, babies are trafficked for their organs. So we have child trafficking, child sex trafficking, adult sex trafficking, slave trafficking, uh, child soldiers, um, you know, uh, human flesh, organs. And Trump says this is the number one problem in America. So much so that he made January the Human Trafficking Awareness Month. And what were we all doing before Trump came along? We were praying to God to stop human trafficking by 2020, weren't we? Yep. And along came a guy that said this is the number one problem and even made January the Human Trafficking Awareness Month. A lot of arrests in January, too. And there were lots of arrests and there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Uh, The next... Order of business, I know that uh, that uh, there's a number of people that are working at, you know, trying to stop these evil people from the electronic harassment, and the harassment of individuals. Now, why are they harassed? They're harassed because they're, they're not us. <laughs> they're, 
because they can be. I asked my friend about that with the witches because they would core somebody out, take their talents for themselves, leave them as kind of a hollow zombie type of person. And I asked, I said, well, why do they do that? How They just jump on somebody. Next thing you know, they're like this can't-do-anything zombie. And I, I know. You have to fight them off. They make you feel like you can't do anything. Many people stop producing works of uh, art or inventions or <clears throat> any kind of creative activity because they have been convinced by Satan they can't do anything. That that just means that somebody else might have stolen that talent. Why do they do that? Because nobody sees it, because people are spiritually inept here. People are deaf, dumb, and blind, so they can't see that there's this game going on to take what you have, and that means even within you. It's horrible. Not just stealing people's ideas, which also happens, <clears throat> but stealing their, 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 their souls, their talent, their, their, their thing that they do. And if that's not enough, the rest of your time is going to be spent, you know, warding off, uh, you know, infiltrators, attackers, stalkers, bad actors, people with ill intent, criminals, who will make up the, uh, the rest of society. Why would an individual like you and me come into a world where it's simply a gauntlet of evil throwing things at you from every which way in an effort for you to, to break you down and to have you scream, oh God, please help me, or die. It's because the purpose of the world is to harvest souls. I mean, the purpose of this world system is to harvest souls. They can't get the soul unless they break the individual down and have them either consent or die or do something. So there is no purpose, as in Crest Toothpaste. There is no purpose in the corporatocracy. There is no purpose in the U.S. military. There is no purpose in, in, in um, you know, in day-to-day -day life on Main Street. There is no purpose in, uh, you know, television. There is no purpose in movies at all, except to either... And I've seen some pretty good art films, and, and uh, uh, the exception being the uh, Steven Schellenberger's film, The Spark, which I highly recommend and cannot recommend enough. But that aside, and that's a very unique film, that aside, there is really no purpose to the rest of movie making. All, anybody that tries to do something to try to emulate reality or have a statement or a message or some kind of, you know, something going on that you could relate to is uh, a shot in the dark. It's meaningless. In fact, most art today is meaningless. Concepts, designs, motorcycles, Ferraris. Gowns, planes, trains and automobiles, meaningless. What is meaningful is if a human being can actually converse or relate to another human being. You see, the reason that is such a high price commodity is because, you, you see, when you have two or three together and they're starting to agree on something, there's a power, there's a threat to that world system. Even with three people, even with one person, but with three people who are having a, an enlightened conversation, it's a total threat to everything and everyone. So, why is the devil keeping all of us who like to talk to each other? How come we're all separate in our own little world, silenced and not communicating? Because it's a threat to them. So they keep us in our own little world, spinning around, 
separate from everybody because they can't afford to have you and I having a conversation that would threaten the entire thing. What, well, why is it so delicate? Why is it so delicate? Why is it so delicate? Because once the mind control is blown, once the grip on consciousness is blown, the whole thing unravels, right? Well, it's blown. It is unraveling. It is unraveling because it's known now who they are, what they do, why this is, what the purpose is, how many of them are there, what is the depth of it. Well, I have to chime in here and say it's also laughable and pathetic. It's a clown show. Worse, it's a sad clown show. It's sad because of how pathetic it is. Did stupid human think he was going to get somewhere? Did stupid human think somehow there was a shortcut? Did stupid human think there was something for nearly nothing? Did stupid human think by self-corruption he could become a mighty man upon the earth? Did stupid human, because of self-corruption, think he could become a mighty, powerful man on the earth? Did anyone think that self-corruption and self-gratification equals power? Who buys that shit? Well, if you're going to buy that, I got land on, you know, the moon and I got a piece of the sun I could sell you. Step right up. There's one born every second. She need out there probably because of her. She might have to go. Away. Well, the Bible says that Nimrod, through self corruption, became the, uh, like the mighty men of the earth, like the powerful hybrids. And uh, I understand that. They, because they promise you that. You can become like one of these mighty, legendary men of the earth through internal corruption or self-corruption, which is consent. And then it is also free will consent against God. And that turns into a power. Yes, there, there is that way that seems right to a man, to a stupid human. But that way always leads to death. Right? Leads to where we are now. Leads to our society as it is today. Too many people took that deal. And now look at us. And they don't know what to do because they're not allowed to talk. Remember to adjust your duct tape on your mouths, ladies and gentlemen. All of you shut up. If you say anything, you still get in trouble. So keep quiet. You step out of line, things could go very badly for your children. And so they don't step out of line. But are they there anymore as human, the ones you used to know? No, they're not the ones you used to know. Could they be set free? No, they're going to die. Oh, but first they're going to try to destroy you. Because you're intact. And that's a threat. It's that simple. Why would God allow it? I have have no idea. Okay, so another prophetic marker here is 
Remember I told you the adjudication of the cheating has brought us to a crisis. Remember I said that was a prophetic marker? Remember? You can now see the result of the cheating. Correct? We're in a crisis. But in a way, it's really not so much ideology. It's it's the idea that the people have gone over. You know, they've they've. It's you know, it's the political parties have gone over. You know, the Republicans are just as much, say, you know, throwing rocks at Trump as anybody else. They've gone, but something else has happened. They all they all want abortion at the end, end of at the, while the baby's born. They're crazy about it. It's crazed. It just seems so... It just seems so uh, very... uh, insane that it's... it, it cannot be evaluated by a historian, by a social scientist by any measure, a psychologist, by an economist. There is no way to measure ourselves anymore because things have become so uh, obvious, I suppose, so, so, so perfectly uh, wicked. so boldly stupid that the only thing you could do is assess people as stupid or or not worth, you know, carrying on. In other words, we need to have a cataclysm in order to take out the garbage people. So it's, it's that, that's, you, you, because it's not worth having a historical book about what happened because it's so embarrassing on every level it's they became something other than human. And they started slaughtering their children and eating their own flesh and, 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 and doing every manner of grossness that it's so ugly. And so, you know, how you turn away from something that's, that's, that's just so pathetic and embarrassing, you, you, you turn away to cover that man's shame so that, he may not be aware of how he's behaving or what he's doing or he's pooping on himself or he's drooling or he's un- unable to sustain himself. And so you tend to turn away out of the, your own humanity to cover that person so that in some way, and you might have to turn away to do it. You know, it's, it's just, it's that kind of thing that, that how we to the point where, where God must turn away, it's, become so embarrassing and so pathetic we just have to turn away just because it's 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 the humane thing to do because it's become so obviously known every little thing that that and they continue to do so unaware of themselves they continue to do these things out in the open trying to make it okay with people to be that far down, that, that far of an embarrassment to God, that much of an embarrassment to the whole idea of human fallen or not. It's below even fallen. It's to the point of just, uh, you, you might just say, disease to the point of unrecognition. And all those people, you know, that, pu- that pushed... The whole 60s trip, you know, the, the British invasion and the LSD culture and the kids and the parties and the love-ins and the festivals. Thinking that they were getting somewhere, that they were finally changing society for the better. I suppose today's corollary would be a corollary or whatever you want to call it. 
it would be the Burning Man Festival, which has become something of a kind of a, uh, I would just say it's just a marketing campaign for idiocy, but whatever. Oh, there's innovative art going on there. I see. You know, I'm really enlightened. Thank God I know about it now. Yeah, you know, we're having, uh, you know, they want to have sex, huh? Wow, that's really, that's unique. Oh, my God. Forgive me if I'm unimpressed. I just, I, you know, I'm trying to be impressed. I want to be impressed. One of the more pathetic things is seeing Elon Musk standing in front of his little tin can. He goes, I'm going to Mars tomorrow. And I'm like, <laughs> I I just, I, I you know, he, I follow him on Twitter every once and he goes, here's my new design for a rocket ship. And it's all like, it looks like a tin can. You know what I mean? It's just like, it is a tin can. And you just feel sorry for the guy. I mean, you know, it's, they're using him as some kind of corporate head to push whatever, right? His Tesla little tinker toys and things. And he's, it, it's just, it, it's, he's supposed to be the profound, uh, brilliant, visionary Elon Musk. And he's, oh, a sad one. So completely confused, lost, but he can't ever let on because he's supposed to be someone that knows something. <laughs> he's supposed to be someone that is to enlighten us all how to, we're going to have this, you know, I don't mind having a train somewhere or a plane or a little you know, just like kids playing with erector sets or the soldiers or playing with the world. But visionary, no. Breakthrough, no. Truth seeker, no. Troubled, yes. Very troubled person. Hiding it. One, one can only hope that... Uh, he gets through, yeah, and I've learned something too about watching all the icons of our society and how completely bereft of any kind of truth they are. The, the trade off they made to become icons, I suppose. You know what I mean? That I will not speak truth so I can become an icon. And to see what is celebrated, what is revered. I suppose one day. The, the president that finally gets through the, you know, uh, afterbirth abortion will wind up on Mount Rushmore. I mean, you know, right? And that's the only accomplishment he makes, or she. That's the, it's, it's really something, watching a mother push for killing the baby. You know what I mean? It's like you wonder, what kind of psychopath? You know, the, the, you know we have an idea of mom and apple pie and motherhood and, you know, this reverence for motherhood, right? And then we see these women pushing for murder, and it's like, wow. And they're wearing their pussy hats, and they're marching around, and, you know, for women's rights, and all they want, the only woman's right they want is to kill the baby after birth. <sighs> That's all they march for. That's the women's right movement completely, other than... Having your kid be 15 different genders and raising your boys as girls because we want to feminize the whole world. So when the bad guy really comes in here, uh, there won't be any men to fight back. I, right? Typical old strategy. Uh, it's called military strategy. And uh, it's very, very simple. And it's done in the guise of human rights, of course. And look, the public's completely duped by that, too. They think the whole, you know, the whole sexual revolution rights and gender rights are something that has something to do with human rights rather than social engineering for the purpose of conquering a people and overthrowing the United States. They don't see the, the, the connection between the two. So I have to turn away from the news. I haven't even looked at news. See, look, look how up to date I am. 
you see, because the truth is always up to date. And I spoke the truth here today. Now, it may be ugly. People may hate it. Of course, so-called feminists would, you know, like to do me in, I'm sure. And people like me, what they want is silenced. And the entire news media wants us silenced. And all of Google wants us silenced. Because they want abortion to be okay. And feminizing of, 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 of the masculine to be okay. And, and to be, in fact, encouraged. And they want every upside-down, backwards thing to be okay. And finally, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the degradation of communism and the, uh, and the enforced poverty while they get to play in the fields of elite. I mean, they've been pushing for this for eons and eons. Only faith in God, people doing the right thing and just, just following the right thing, you know, having a conscience, living by that, you know, apologizing when you're wrong, you know, having some social decorum. It's only been that that has kept all this out. out. Now, I, I don't, I'm not one of these people that say, well, we're beyond a civil war. Would Trump finally arrest, uh, you know, the, the, the deep state guys? That's going to be the end of the problem. That's not the end of the problem. The problem is it's a worldwide problem, and it uh, goes well beyond, you know, your Obamas and Hillarys and all that stuff. It's, it's well, well, well deeply rooted within man's weakness and inability to stand on his own and the, the need to find some shelter that will only be at best a temporary shelter, but they see, because they see the older generation, so they go, well, it worked for them, why not for us? Well, it were, what does work mean? I mean, they got old, they died miserable, they had no belief in anything, There's one band that pushed Satan of the of the cultural icons out there. That was the Rolling Stones. They pushed Satan and you know various titles of music, and they had uh, Satanic Majesty's Request, and it all had to do with really kind of a connection to James Cameron, the director. You know, because movies are very propaganda oriented. They are very big, big propaganda mind control billboards. Right? They're huge. And his Avatar series about being connected to the sacred tree and we're all connected to each other and this connection thing with nature and with the earth is a, is it's all paganism being pushed, you know, neo neo paganism. Which is really what Satanism is. It's really a neo paganism in a sense. And the connection between the hive mind pushed by the Rolling Stones and also Dillard and others. Briefly, you know, intermittently, not, not all the time, but, you know, here and there. Back in that time of the 60s with uh, Timothy Leary and the LSD and the connection, it was all about the hive mind. It was all about connecting us all into this hive mind, which Cameron likened to the sacred tree, which, you know, in other words, it's tethering to the earth business. Versus the people that are more, I guess, would be their, their spirit, their soul would be more celestial and not so much earthbound. And they're two different species, right? The earthbound ones and the celestial ones. And the celestial ones are not feeling like they belong in some place but they belong, say, to God, to the spirit of God, to the spirit so every place is equally home and not home. Whereas the others, the, you know, earthbound spirits, feel they need to relate to something like a home on earth or a place on earth. That's their tethering. Where the celestial ones, the children of God, are really more tied to that. And that is not of this world. Right? And... These two different kinds of species have been at war for I don't know how long, I mean forever, right? Forever, forever and ever. Uh, I, you know, out of respect for the fact that these people were created to, 
to bind themselves to the earth, okay? That's not me, that's not my way, but I mean, that's their way. Uh, I'll say that they were made that way, but they're also incompatible with those people bound to the spirit. I think she has to. So, you've got that problem that we should probably talk about in another podcast. In other words, it's a, we we've, we've get along to a certain extent. We're like cats and dogs, right? We get along to a certain extent, but we don't really get along. We don't really mesh. The people of the earth are always pushing the whole, you know, uh, the, the the flesh and the the sex and the flesh they have their new age kind of pagan neo neo paganism the new age is really neo paganism and they push you know it all has to do with pleasures and orgies and then they have spiritual experiences and chakras and you know crystals and all this kind of stuff that's all of the earth it's all earth some substances of the earth and and their their need to ground themselves in that earth. But some of us really just feel like we want to be grounded in the spirit. That there's not, that that's the only place of grounding. And people like that, it cannot be understood by people tethered to the earth. There's a misunderstanding between the two kinds of spirits, right? They don't tend to mesh. The people of the spirit need to rejoice and say, you know what, don't worry. The end of the day, no matter what happens here, you know your home, right? Where's where's my home? My home is not of this world. How about yours? That's right. So let's can't we please be happy about that? What if you were tethered to the earth? What if you were tethered to the earth? And everything was about you know, success, succeeding on the earth and conquering the bad guy. You can only go up if the other guy goes down. Hurting this person clandestinely, but openly being a charitable person, you know, leading a double life and trying to play the game and trying to be relevant and trying to compete and trying to this and that. Yes, having people hold you up and lift you up, even though you make mistakes that other people would have been canned for. Uh, no, you're 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 among friends here with the earth dwellers. You know, they need fresh blood. So they go after the innocent ones, they call them. People that might not know the ways of the earth. They may not have street smarts. And I always wonder, but then I look at the rabbits, you know, and I say, wow. Well, I haven't seen any in a while, Trish. Nope. They're rabbits, though, usually, and there's lots of them a lot of the time. And I wonder how come the coyotes haven't eaten them all, because the coyotes are ravenous beasts. They're just, they're just very smart hunters, right? They just never miss a chance to, to uh, grab a, a morsel like a, a rabbit. It's a beautiful meal. And I wonder, I say to the Lord, how in the world do you have all these little baby rabbits that are so cute running around here and, and then and how come the coyotes haven't eaten them all? So the Lord's got this, you know. I mean he understands. Why would he have these two sides clashing? I don't know. To prove that he is sovereign above all. And that the only you know, the only reality is God and the rest of it is, is the creation. Well, why do people insist on worshiping the created rather than the creator? They're earth dwellers. I don't know what makes them tick. I don't know what makes them that way. Why Why are they the way they are? Why do they join the, these, they join the secret societies and the guilds? And what do they teach them in the secret societies? They teach them the ways of magic and and secrets of the universe and so forth. Well, what good does that do them if they're tethered to the earth anyway? What's the point? You know, the power and the glory resides with God, 
not not with people manipulating objects on the earth to get some kind of, you know, influence somebody in some future event or something. That being said, I I do, you know, respect the fact that witchcraft is very powerful and very uh, deadly. You know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of bad things in the spirit. Why are the practitioners always the earth dwellers? Well, the answer is because the people in the spirit have already taken care of everything in the spirit. The spirit's quicker than the flesh, so everything's already been done. Everything has already happened. All the outcomes have already known. So there's no point, right? There's no manipulation needed. It's already figured out. It's already done. It's a done deal. But the two sides fight anyway. No, there's not 15 sides, like 15 genders. There's two sides. Why is it the people of the earth want to kill babies? If you're connected to the Spirit of God through Jesus Christ, you're just never going to go there. I mean, that's just going to be so criminal and so heinous. You would never even cross your... What an awful thing. To the people tethered to the earth, however, it's, it's perfectly natural to have sacrifices to appease the gods, wherever they are. The gods. Where are the gods? You might as well be a god if you're tethered to the, to the Lord. To these nebulous gods, here's more blood, more blood, more blood. It's getting to be, right? The reason they're approving all this right now is because they need more blood, just like the Aztecs, just like the Mayans, just like cultures of old, even like you know the the old Roman Empire, the pagans, the uh, the uh, you know the, the Greeks back into the uh, the barbarians, the uh, yeah, pretty much everybody except the people of the Lord uh, felt they had to do sacrifices. Because they were worried. What's the one thing Jesus tells us? He says, don't worry. If you're connected to me and I'm, you know, the vine, the Father takes care of me. And if you abide in me, then the Father takes care of you. John 15. Please take that chapter to heart. The, uh... uh And, of course, John 17, which is, you are to be in it, not of it. In other words, you're in it and not of it. You just can't get upset about, you know, you deserve to get that promotion or win the prize. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Find the motivation to do your task. Not for competition, to win the prize or for money, but perhaps do it for the Lord. Do it because somebody will be helped by your doing it. But the motivation leaves when you're with God to, oh, do I need a I don't need a prize, so I'm not going to work on it. Go ahead and work on it, but do that work for the Lord because you never know what your participation, uh, how that can help. Do it for the Lord. Um, Do it for the passion of doing it, whatever, you know. But the age-old prizes and the the the, the, the brass rings, the prizes, the money, the, all the stuff, it, it's, it becomes irrelevant if they give that to you. Say, you know, Mazel Tov, great, you know, bless people, whatever. But, but that's not the point of doing a thing. Now, if you're an earth dweller, you need awards. You need trophies. You need that, you know, having people, friends, collecting friends as trophies too. You need, it's all material, right? Everything is materialism. I just noticed the dawn is coming up, the beautiful dawn.
Da she she wants to go out. Da she she. Uh, do you, does anyone know what the groundhog? Uh, yeah. What is no the deal? No shadow. No shadow, and it's going to be an early spring. Really? Yep. How wonderful. Well, I can I can tell you this, folks. Um, we're in we're in, you know we're we're no different than we were in 1967. I hate to say it. The only difference is we've had this upheaval of knowledge. We've had this explosion of knowledge as prophesied by Daniel. You know, that, that knowledge would be increased, he said. And my goodness, it has increased tremendously. I mean, tremendously. Uh, we know about the, 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 you know, can you imagine the comfort that I have knowing that the, 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 the vast, the huge question I had and it was testing my sanity. I mean, you know, I really had to persevere to, to, to make it through there because I had to at times act like I was playing the game and they were, you know, like be happy to be Truman on the Truman Show. I had to do a lot of things to get here at this time. You know what I mean? I, I didn't go the normal human route. But our, think think about how happy I must be to... to uh, well, let me... Let, I mean, how thrilling it is to have have it all work out. In other words, to wait for an answer and then to have the answer in full and in, in triplicate. How about that? The answer to my cosmic question, which is, what is this? And what are they doing? And, and, and who's who, what? What the heck is all this? And why are they all harassing us and returning? On, and what's this hive thing and all this witchcraft and magic and 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 you know UFOs and and zombified people and murders and what what the heck is all this? I'll just better wait because I got to find out why people why they're doing what they do. It's not just the fall of man. There's some coordinated, strange, uh, you know, engineered thing that goes on to harass people. To hurt people, to 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 drive them into, you know, suicide, to drive them into to death, and you know what is it? And to now have the answer as to what it all is, and now have the okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go to a little song here, and uh, let's let's get. Uh, I don't know if I want to take up the rest of the. <laughs> Here you go. There we Okay, so 
you know, let's let's encapsulate, you know, this surround the whole thing by just saying, you know, the uh, the baby killing has brought everything front and center. You know what I mean? The whole purpose of this world and the whole purpose of these people is to kill these babies. And the whole purpose of these women's marches is to kill these babies. Let's get right back onto that, that level. That God hates that and we are of God and we must put a stop to it. And, you know, prayer, podcasts, videos, political action... You know, no, I don't say murder people. No, I'm obviously not. Not unless there's a war, which if there was a, an official war, you know, if it got to that point, I suppose then God's making a war. Then that's different. But I mean, this is, this is you know, it must be opposed and um, at all costs. Now, I realize that today's podcast will probably get me a lot of... Uh, backlash, you know, and I've had, that's one reason I haven't been here, because we've had so much backlash lately, I couldn't be online, I couldn't be on the Twitter, I couldn't be on the, I couldn't do anything, and and I have things to do, I've just felt so completely, you know, laid to waste, almost just like a, like a victim on the battlefield kind of thing, you know, and I just felt so absolutely alone, and and just overrun, really, by this evil that's, a, that's and I'm, I know I'm not alone, of course, but uh, it's just been really hard to, to fathom, and then, you know, that I have looked at the cost, you know, and I thought, well, the cost is nothing, because my mind went beyond the, you know, laughs at, at their trinkets and prizes, so I mean... It's there's no cost there. So what would the cost be? Uh, being la- laughed at or pointed at, mocked by pathetic people that you feel sorry for. That's not that's no cost at all. To be put upon, to be kind of tricked and you know used or abused or whatever. It's, well, everybody does that to everybody, so that's not really a cost. To 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 fail to be you know written up as uh, glowing reports of the media or the, you know, whatever, that's, that's no, that, 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 that doesn't really matter when your mind is to a certain ex- place, when your soul comes to a certain place, things like that are completely irrelevant to us. So what is the cost of following Jesus? Um... Well, it's not like you had a place to lay your head anyway. It's not like you had acceptance ever anyway, right, from day one. So there really isn't a cost. (laughs) You know, I suppose if you value your life and you want gold stars for, you know, your achievements and things, I suppose there'd be a cost that you don't get those little things they give out in kindergarten. But uh, hopefully we're beyond kindergarten by now. I would hope so, meaning off the f- material things and onto the spiritual things for sustenance. Anyway, I thank you for putting up with me, uh, you know, in, in, and I've tried to be judicious in the, the podcasting, you know, to not just blather on about anything any day. Today's topic, the thing that's made me so ill, I mean, you know, and I, I've, well, I've got to watch my words carefully. I, I'm not ill, not ill, but so kind of spiritually second, I guess, is this, uh, uh, this baby killing frenzy that's going on with it. Like they're trying to shove it down our throats right now. And, you know, that then alludes to everything else, you know, all the other things that, uh, that I experienced, um, you know, growing up and, and, and we had to wait for my answer, you know. I just am so amazed. That I, th- I think God told me to wait for an answer, and I did. Something like 40, 45 years later, I had an answer. It may not be the answer I wanted. The answer was, everything you thought back then was true. You were right. And, and and even going into denial made sense. 
because you couldn't handle the truth. Yes. Yes, I couldn't handle the truth. When you start talking truth in grade school, and, you know, 7th, 8th grade, ninth grade, it's off to the shrinks. And if you insist, it's off to the institution. If you insist, it's, oh, somebody gave you the wrong medication, I'm not here anymore. They just, right? That's, okay, so what does that tell us? That is the world business. Shows us who runs the world. What is the purpose? The scalping of souls. For what reason of the degradation of humanity? Because there's a war in heaven. Because this is not part of heaven. It's not part of heaven. But God's in control. Well, yes, God gave free will. And I suppose free will is in control, which would mean, by extension, God is in control. But free will to be tested, showing that most people use free will to take a a perceived shortcut to join the collective, to join the hive in the hopes of being successful, only to wind up with nada. Right? And that at some point, you know, you were laughed at, made fun of and mocked. You know, I think you must take comfort in this. Those who laugh last laugh best. And those who were laughing then, they're not laughing now, folks. Check it out. Your friends, so-called. Your family members that are on the other side. Your acquaintances, people at work. Are they looking at you and laughing at you? No, they're looking at you and wondering if they made a mistake. They're looking at you and wondering now, at long last, that they're not happy. Not that anyone's really happy. I I think happiness is, is a stupid word because there's basically content, meaning you're not being harassed, and then there's being harassed. <laughs> Either being harassed or... But seriously, those who were laughing then, are they laughing now? No, they're not. But he who laughs last, laughs best. In other words, your tears become, you know, turned to, to smiles in the end anyway. Their smiles turn to tears in the end. We all know this, but why don't we take heed of it so we can be joyous rather than being, you know, down in the dumps all the time? There's no reason to be because you're not tethered to the result. It doesn't matter whether you get the promotion. It doesn't matter whether they write something nice about you in the local paper. It doesn't matter. So therefore, you're free to not be bummed out. You're free to not worry about that. If we could just break free a little more just in our mind, the shackles in our minds are just, you know, holding us to a little bit of that expectation still. The world's still in us a little bit. And got to realize the world should be in the worlders because that's where they belong. But not in you, man of spirit. You're a spiritual being. You're 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 here materially, kind of. You know, I mean, that you have a body that makes you a material thing, but your mind, your heart, and everything is with the Lord. So it's not of this world. In that, Jesus thought we would be content. We would be content in our souls. We would be. We would have happiness. We would have joy, because it doesn't matter what we do in terms of. Uh, you know, or what we achieve, what is what is what is important is that connection makes you more of an observer here, more of a sojourner, more of a stranger in a strange land, and 
that person doesn't have to worry and that person doesn't have to measure. You've already been weighed in the balance and, and you've come up perfect. So you're a child of the Most High God. You have nothing to worry about. I have nothing to worry about. So, you know, fear, anxiety, worries. I, I mean, I deal with this. I have these things. I'm really trying to coach myself right now. I have these worries and anxieties that are unfounded, my friends, unfounded. Mainly probably from the past or probably from, this is a new day. This is not a day of the, of the earth. This is not a day to celebrate neo-paganism. This is a day where the spirit reigns supreme. And the spirit encompasses all planets, all material, all, all, everything material is instantaneous for you and me. I think I'm just going to call it a day right there. I think I've, I, I think I'm going to blow it if I keep going. <laughs> I think I, I think I maybe I've already for some people I've, I'm sure I've already blown it, but I think I'm going to blow it. I, for me, no, for me this was a good one. I, you know, sometimes when I wait a couple of days, you know what I mean. I. It gets more, you know, precise. Oh, yeah, over a couple of days. But here's the thing, folks. These podcasts, they take a lot out of me, you know, you know energy-wise. And part of it is this kind of punishment that goes on. You know, even though I'm maybe not speaking about things today, I'm, I'm speaking about very basic things, you know, nothing unique or particularly profound it's it's just that this topic you're 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 touching on you know the devil's sacraments the devil's most important things and even though i be i may be one of millions talking about this very subject in spiritual terms and of course in, in prophetic terms prophetic terms you got the you got the the hard medicine earlier today which is if it continues like this and increases, uh, you will not have a nation or you won't be here. I mean, I won't be here either. We won't be here because it will have collapsed. And that may be the best thing for it. I mean, that may be what has to happen. I, I, I you know, I'm just saying you can't, you, you, you know, I, I mentioned the, the prophetic marker of the, of the election and now you're seeing result, the result of that, right? You're seeing a very a cause and effect. That's that marker was really accurate. I mean, it, it's it's uh, it's not the the cheating itself. It's the looking the other way on the cheating that means the 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 blowback that that causes the downfall, right? It's the looking the other way on it. It's the not doing anything about it. Well, the same thing with the uh, the the baby killing. It's the looking the other way that causes the the destruction of society. And the reason God doesn't destroy it right now is because they want God to destroy it to do their. The, Satan wants God to do his bidding. Turn everybody immoral. Turn everybody into killing the babies. Turn everybody into zombies and hates God. And then watch God do his magic. Not so fast. See, he won't be manipulated like that. I've, I've caught that one. I mean, that one is a... He won't let Satan manipulate him into destroying all humanity. He won't do that. People say, well, then God has to apologize for Sodom and Gomorrah. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's not going to let the enemy manipulate him, God, into destroying the United States just because... And it may be corrupted with the Masonic and all that, sure. But still it says the rights come from the Creator. <laughs> and that's the all-important thing. And God will honor that. And has. But it's always been with the proviso, you could do better. And I think we are. I think we have a number of young people who are absolutely... Uh, Absolutely, coming up, uh, they're coming up strong. They're coming up with, but they're not like the millennials. 
they're coming up very determined to not allow this thing to continue. You know, they're coming up with some common sense, but they're going to have to fight their teachers and get them fired. These teachers are dangerous people. They're teaching Antichrist uh, spirit. All right. I will see you next time. I'd like to play that. What was that called? Uh, bang, bang, shoot, shoot. Bang, bang, shoot, shoot. That was uh, the Beatles. No, uh, click, click, bang, bang. Click, click, bang, bang. I'd like to play it. I never got it beyond the video. I I, I guess I, I, I need to... Oh, man, I've got so many things like that. Yeah, you guys would like that. That was Rich Keldner guitars. Everyone agrees that's the best sounding guitar that we have ever heard in our lives. So there you go, Rich. <laughs> Great tone. Don't, don't let that go to your head. Oh, it's already gone to his head. No, it's the best tone I have ever heard. And the most fun guitar that I've ever had to uh, mix because of how it just, it's, just, it's just so there, there. It's just amazing. And, uh, you know, something that's, that's, that's that full. But it's on video on YouTube. You can, you can hear it there. You'll hear what I mean. I like to, well, I'm going to have to go back to this. You know, I've, you know, in my own, uh, Rich is always telling me how dubstep is dead, you know, but I really like the drama of dubstep. You know, this big, giant, roiling bass. But I'm telling you, I'm having a hard time Getting sound, got some some good sound, some good bass, you know, instruments that I made myself. But the ones off the shelf are no good. It's like they're not giving you the good stuff. And so it's, but, but no, I don't like it for the club thing. But it's always used for drama with light shows and explosions, and you know, you know, it's uh, there's just something about it. I love that stuff. I do too. I, I, for me, it's not dead. And uh, so to that extent, it's, it's very, very composer-oriented. It's like movie, <laughs> a lot of movie composers use, uh, you know, dubstep techniques. But this is a few years old, but still I like to play it, so I'm going to play it. And I'll see you next time. God bless you, each and every one. Hey, remember, can I remember too? Okay, let's all remember. No worrying I repeat, stop worrying. Just kind of get into the present moment and go from thing to thing as you're led, as you go. Without trying to, you know, pre-guess it or wonder about it. Don't even wonder. Just try to stay in the present moment and just do the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing without, you know, and I will try myself the same thing, you know, to not worry about things because yeah, worrying's not going to change anything anyway. You know, it's 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 a, it's a very tough situation here, especially with the you know the, the the fact that they're doing every damn thing they can do to bring you know the wrath of God to hurt the country, to stop the economy, to stop Trump, to do whatever, to increase human trafficking. They actually want to increase human trafficking. It's unbelievable. 